I think one of the main challenges is that people are living longer. We've got more people living into their 70s, 80s and 90s who are living fit, active, healthy lives. And so on the one hand, we want to keep these people healthy, but we also know that there are more older people who have chronic incurable disease, who are living with frailty, who maybe have cognitive impairments such as dementia. And we really need to adapt and adjust our health services so that they're suitable for this group of people. People told us that they wanted more individualised care. They didn't want us as doctors or as nurses to treat a disease. They wanted us to listen to them, to find out what mattered to people and to treat them as a whole in a holistic way rather than treating an individual medical condition. They wanted us to work in a more coordinated fashion. They wanted the professionals that were looking after them, the, the doctors, the nurses, the allied health professionals, the pharmacists, the physiotherapists, they wanted us to work together in a coordinated way with social care so that people knew what was happening with the individual rather than lots of different health professionals going in and out of the house without speaking to each other. We need to provide care much closer to home. People want to stay and live active, healthy lives in, at home for as long as possible. And people, as they become frailer, also want to remain at home. And so we need to configure services that deliver that care either in the patient's home or as close to home as possible. Well, we still clearly need acute hospitals and we need acute hospitals to work efficiently. We need more services that can work seven days a week. But we know that if a frail elderly person is admitted to hospital, they very quickly lose their independence. And a protracted hospital admission um, can sometimes make it more difficult for the, the individual to get back home into their own home. And it often means that we have to then look at long-term care options such as care homes. We look at what is important to an individual, what matters to them. Sometimes it isn't the high-tech care in the hospital that they are looking for. Sometimes people want to be looked after at home, sometimes with quite low-tech medicine, but they want health professionals to listen to them, to find out what matters to them, and to develop a, a care plan that is tailored to the individual. And that doesn't always mean expensive medicine, it doesn't always mean chemotherapy, it doesn't always mean high, high technology in terms of investigations. So I think in the future we can do things differently and it doesn't necessarily have to cost more.